these chicks got to start in five. Let's be real with each other, man. You know, they got to start in five. You fall out that start in five, man. That's it, you know. <laughs> That's what happens to you. So I wanted to do a song about the power of, you know, power of pussy. I think if I could summarize like what the what the Hollywood experience meant to me, it would be this song. Since the beginning of time, women have intrigued us, women have nurtured us and raised us and been the focal point of our lives. They became the focal point of art. They became the focal point of everything. The power of the pussy is really there. It's, it's not a term of, um, it's not a derogatory term to me. It's a term of empowerment, especially now and the transition that we're seeing and the more understanding that we're seeing on the male side of this. We're starting to see the power of the pussy kick in a lot more. Perfection personified, I was powerless in her presence. Acting no possessive, I tried to buy her possessions. You feel like you're about to be with somebody, you want to possess that person, you know what I mean? You want, to, you want to make them like yours and only yours and exclusive and you're going to start buying them shit and trying, you know? That's, that's like the love they sell you, right? Is that you're supposed to feel out of character, you know? That's wrong. Now I'm learning that, you know, when you feel like yourself in a situation, that's probably when you really are in love with somebody. It's just the peasant, possessed by the power that she possesses, presented to my heart and she broke it like a professionist. You know, I remember it was something actually I wrote on either Instagram or Twitter or something, Perfection Personified. And then I just started there. I was like, hold on, Perfection Personified. And I started thinking more peas. I was powerless in her presence, acting all possessive. You know, I started to buy her possessions. It was all true story shit. And I'm like, damn, all these peas are really working. And so I just really went, you know, all the way down with the peas. And then just coming into that first hook, it was just, it felt so iconic to me to do it that way, you know? She has champagne dreams, bottles she can't afford. Oh no, not anymore. Now she model for Ford. Met a rich European, he even got a Dior. Gucci Prada galore. Went and bought out the stores. 18, but she's mature. Half a mil on the car, dripping sauce. The vintage Porsche parked in front of the porch. Hit a lick, hit a lick, then she hit mission abort. She ain't in love anymore. That's more than he can afford. I'm like, don't be silly, we really out here, you know. I never bring my circle of round squares, you know. My, me and most of my guys are 20 years deep, man. So, you know, my brother Sal, uh, Cash, Manny, uh, me and Abel have been knowing each other like almost 10 years now. It's really people I know my whole life that stay around me, man. Stretch the pussy out like a lounge chair, you hope. Little brown hairs, I go downstairs below. We all do this, man. Let's not lie to each other. It's just, if you haven't done it, you haven't met a bad enough joint yet. <laughs> and she'll make you. <laughs> Believe me. But I take pride in it. I take pride. I think I'm great at it. It's the best part of my diet. It's just delicious. Peach juice. No job, she hit a lick. That's a fucking blow job with some benefits. Went and got an ass job and some bigger tits. Now she at the Benz dealership. I'm like, get it, bitch. Choose him, you let a loser win. Fuck it, he could use the win. You the one, I can't afford to lose again. Started to use again, got me losing friends, still abusing him, but there's some shit I never do again. Right, so I had quit ten, Hennessy for 10 years and then started drinking Hennessy again. Then like that aggressive, you know, crazy motherfucker came back out and it was like, it was, it was like a downhill spiral from there, you know? They see me moving up, show up like she moving in. Ass stupid, hair super like the new Korean. Famous philosopher Kareen Steffens was uh, also known as Superhead. Um, nah, man, Superhead, man. Like, you know, she was mentioned in so many rap songs growing up. She was like the Superhead groupie of like the 90s, I guess. I know there's some new Koreans out here. Holla at me. <laughs> Hallucinogens in my juice and my gin. I'm overdue for a cleanse. I'll overdo it again. You were seduced by a sin. Don't let Lucifer in. She took you for everything. You let her do it again and that's... I don't really believe in sins anywhere. Like I, I think you should just live freely. But you know, to most people, that's what that's what really has them feeling guilty and has them feeling down. Is just be like, you know, oh, I just committed all these sins or whatever. I think it was just the effect of having like this fake Lucifer character represent all of those sins and represent that part of life. You know, the P.O.P. That's the P.O.P. The power of pussy. Yeah, the P.O.P. That's. The P.O.P., the power of pussy. That's the P.O.P., the P.O.P., the power of pussy. That's the P.O.P., yeah, the P.O.P., the power of pussy.
That was great. We got deeper on POP than I thought we would. We got deeper in the pussy than I thought. I apologize, anybody. I didn't mean to get overly, uh, what's the word? Graphic in here, guys, all right?